This is my 1960-something Sears solid-state radio. I don't actually know how old it is, but I just want to show it off in this video. So, the controls on it, it has high and low tone. It can run off the batteries or off the house. And then it's got the on-off switch. It also has a squelch knob, which I've never seen on a radio before. But I'm sure there's uses for it, I just don't know them. And you've got your volume. And you've got your tuning. And then the biggest thing on this radio, it's a five band. Two of those bands I can't use anymore because they're for analog TV. Although, for some reason, they do get FM radio. I've replaced the antenna on it, so this isn't the one it'd come with from the factory. But this is a pretty good radio. Anything I've wanted to listen to from it, it's been able to pick up. It's fine, though. Right here, right. Double our heads are bowed. Our eyes are closed, and we're praying together. If you would like Jesus Christ to come into your. Yeah, I kind of live in the South. But I can pick up a lot of stations with this. Just from the antenna I have, it's a pretty strong one. Now, any of the ones that you're not really hearing good, like that's not tuned right, I just haven't dialed it in. But it does pick up really well. Another thing about this, if I get it in the right place, this can pick up a uh, weather radio. Did I have it there? Or? Well, right now I can't get that station, but it usually comes in. I just have to put it in a place where it picks up real well. Then it also has AM stations that you can pick up. Of course, AM is one of those where you with this radio, you have to turn it to really get it to come in. Because it's got a ferrite rod in it, instead of a loop. And it has very good sound to that speaker, too. Like, I don't know what it would have costed new, but I think the person who bought it would have got a good deal on it. I picked this one up from Texas second hand. But 
I really like it. And that's it for my Sears Radio.